Hey everyone, welcome back to the channel. If this is your first time here, my name is Derek and I teach Python programming tutorials. In this one, I want to show you how you can replace Excel's if statements. So I want to show you a way that you can replace these using pandas in Python. Let's jump into a few examples so you can see how it's done. Here's the small Excel worksheet that I'll be using in this tutorial. If you want to follow along completely, this Excel sheet will be linked in the description below. But as you see, it's just a small data set that contains a name and test scores. So an operation that we might want to do on this data set would be to go through, take an average of the test scores, return a pass or a fail, and then maybe the letter grade. So let's do all that in Python. Let's get started. Starting out, we'll import the libraries that we'll be using. Whenever we're working with anything Excel, I always use pandas to do these operations. We'll also import NumPy as np. Then we'll import pandas as pd. If you don't have these, go ahead and pip install them. Our first step is to connect our data source to Python. Since we're using pandas, this is super simple. So we'll say scores df, and then we can use pandas.read excel, and then we can pass in the file path. I'm using the same directory, so I can just read in sample scores.xlsx, which is just the name of my Excel workbook. So if we want to print scores df to make sure that we've read this in successfully, we can. We'll open up a terminal and then we'll execute our code. After reading that in, we see that we got the data frame that we expect. Now let's go ahead and create a new column called average, which will take the test one and test two scores and average them together. We can do that by saying scores df, and then we can create a column by using square brackets and then the name of the column. We'll just say this one will be average. Then we can apply our calculation here. For us, we can just do scores df, and then we'll take a mean. Then we can pass in the axis that we want to do this operation along. Since we want to do it for each individual person, we'll say axis is equal to one. Now that we have this average, let's talk about how we can replace that Excel if statement that we're trying to do. There's a few different ways that we can do this. The first way is if we only have two conditions. The second way is if we potentially have many more conditions with many more desired outputs. Let's look at a simple case where we only have two conditions first. If we only have two conditions, we can say something like scores df, and then we can create a new column. So let's say our two conditions are pass and fail. Then we can use a NumPy method called where. What the NumPy where method does is it considers a conditional and then it returns a value if it's true and then a separate value if it's false. In this example, let's say that scores df average is greater than the value of 60, then we'll give that person a value in that column of pass. If not, then that person will fail. So let's see that. Now we can just print scores df. See here that the first argument is just a condition. The second argument is if this condition is true, then put this value into that column. And if it's false, then we put in this value. So now when we print this again, we should see a new column of pass and fail, which we do. And it looks like almost everyone passed, except me. Well, you can't win them all. All right, so now let's talk about if we have multiple conditions. Let's say, for example, we wanted to assign a letter grade depending on the average score. How we can do this is by creating multiple conditions and then multiple results that we would expect depending on the condition. We'll start off with the conditions and then we'll move on to the results. We'll say conditions and this will be equal to a list and then we just pass in our conditions to this list. So our first condition might look something like this where we say average is greater than or equal to 90. Then our second condition might be something along the lines of scores df. We'll take that average and we'll say if it's less the 90, and if scores df average is greater than or equal to 80. We can do this for as many conditions as we want. So we can go through and do this for each letter grade that we expect. Great, now we have all of our conditions. At this point, we just need to create a list which has our results. So we can do that by saying results is equal to a list, and then we'll just pass in each of these corresponding results to the conditions above. So for us, that will just be the letter grade of each of these sections. 
Now we just need to create that new letter grade column that looks at these conditions and assigns these results. We'll do that the same way. So we'll say scores df letter grade will be our new column. And this time we'll use a NumPy method called select. What select will do is we'll take in a list of conditions and a list of results and then apply the corresponding result to the condition. So np select and now our conditions will be the first argument and then results will be our choice list. We can see Kite helping us out with the proper argument name. So now we have conditions and results. If we were to print scores df, we should now get back letter grades. We'll see the result once it executes in our terminal. Okay, so now we've done the letter grades. I want to show you one advanced technique that will kind of replace this technique here. If you're more familiar with Python, we can use a list comprehension. So if you don't want to create that new column using the NumPy method of where, we can just use a list comprehension. The way that we'll do that is we'll create that new column again. So scores df and pass fail. We'll use a list comprehension, which will be square brackets, and then we can just pass in the conditional here. So we can say pass if our iteration, so I'll just say x, if x is greater than 60, then we'll include our else statement. So else, we'll say fail for our iteration, so we already named it x, in scores df, and then we'll pick the column. So scores df, and this will be the average. So now if we were to print scores df, what we're doing is we're going through just using a list comprehension and saying if the average, which we're creating as x, if that x value is greater than 60, then assign pass. If not, we'll just give them a fail. Now we'll print this scores df. And just like that, we've worked through how we can replace an Excel if statement using Python, Pandas, and NumPy. And that's pretty much it for this one. This video was a request by one of you. So if you have your own request that you want me to tackle in a future video, please let me know and I'll be happy to do it. If you have any questions or comments about this video, please let me know that too. Until next time.